early with the sun and the stars. 6 a.m. ring the alarm. Weatherman say it's 90 today, but it's gonna feel like 100 tomorrow. So throw some fresh water under the arms. Bullshit soon as I come in the job. Boss hit me with the news like a box cutter under the jaw. Said they just had a meeting at about 300. Oh, y'all are getting fired because we've been defunded. Can't say I didn't even see it coming. I always knew that one day they find a way to throw me to the wolves. And once they came into my room on that Friday afternoon, I was thinking, why y'all f couldn't find me on Monday? I know it's not saying, but yo, I'm just saying. Everybody prays for the day they see the light, but the light at the end of the tunnel is a train. Yeah, yeah, check it out, y'all. All the way live from the 919. It's your man Fonte holding it down in South Africa, going down in Josie tonight. We are performing at Baseline. So we sold out crowd. The show has been sold out, and uh, I'm fucking excited. What's up, man? It's Knife Wonder right here, man, live in front of Mandela House for UPE. We are here for Ninth Wonder in Fonte, man. First time in South Africa, you know what I'm saying? Little Brother in the House, Justice League, Jamla Records. Right here at Baseline, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of early, you know, people's getting here for the tickets. It was a sold out concert. VIP got sold out, General got sold out. So everyone's here like waiting, hoping that they can get a ticket still to get inside to see these two legendary hip hop figures. See, I spent my last gas money just to get to this fucking, sorry, sorry about the fucking show, but the show, okay? And it was all worth it. I hustle for some more gas. <laughs> Thank you. I've been waiting for this thing since, what? You know, brother, 2004. Uh, I've been waiting, the listening, you know, ah, uh, dog, I've been waiting for this show. And it came, and I'm uh, happiest day, one of the happiest days of my life. This is my first time being in South Africa and pulling here, you know, coming here, I mean, it's really incredible. And, uh, you know, it's something that I really think that all black people in the States should have the chance to do at some point in their life. To be here, you know what I'm saying, just kind of uh, really just, you know, the kind of cradle of civilization, I mean, it's, it's, it's not something you can put into words. To see someone over here, I've literally seen people over here that look just like one of my cousins or something. You know, I know that's not by chance. I know that that is, you know, God's way of just showing that we are all connected. We are a universal family, and it feels so good to be home, and I could not wish for a better crowd to have my first experience, but I love y'all, I really mean it. So, you know, it's, it's been a very beautiful experience. I'm really enjoying myself. I'm up on uh, Kabomo. Um, I heard some of his joints today. He's really dope. It's like illegal graffiti. I'm also, I'm not stopping until I'm raping the industry musically, packing bombing beats like illegal graffiti. I'm also, <laughs> Music is a universal language. Well, first, you know, I tell artists all the time, you must first know the wall that you're trying to break down you must know where you want to go. Saying you want to get on is very broad. My goal is really been longevity. Just to see how long I can keep my sound and how long I can watch niggas come and go. Because <laughs> that's how we've been out. So many have come, come and go. So many have gone. Like Dude. hot with hot. Right? I've, I've got, I've read different producers that got a little joint out. Ah oh, man, sampling, man. I don't do that sampling. Like the mother fruity loop, man. I don't do, you know. I know they talk about me or somebody. I can't find them niggas. I don't know that. I'm doing this show uh, with UPE. Um, I think the most beautiful thing about it is that you're really connecting cultures. You're really connecting people from different parts of the world who never would have had a chance to see each other if not for this. Uh, there are fans that me and Knife have over here that. We ain't seen, they've never seen us. I've like, been waiting to see us since, you know, 2002, 2003. So um, for us to be able to do that for the first time, you know, um, it's really a story. Fonte 
Dante is just a guy that likes to make music and have a good time. Um, I feel like, you know, if, if you're not having fun in life, then you're doing it wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> bottom line, <laughs> like. <laughs> On the right track, the kid it is like that. Thoughts, he go right back. The business, I strike back. Like the empire. Things that celebrity do, the move next door. Now they done made your rent higher. Raise the property value, cause of the live. It's out there what they tell you. To the niggas begging for a spot on the album. You need to fall back. Better get yourself on me, pump up the value. Cause me and you are not cut from the same cloth. This is all me with no alterations. Got my team out. And they all be waiting. Trust you don't want no altercations. Cause no telling what I'ma say to you. My album Charity Starts at Home is out right now. It came out and uh it's in stores right now. I have it tonight at the show, of course. But uh I'm just really just taking time to kind of reset. Um I've been going non-stop for the past like 10 years. So I need some time to regroup, man. Spend time with my kids, just you know, take care of myself, you know what I'm saying? Like just all that. I need to do some life stuff first, so. I'm kind of chilling right now, but I mean, I definitely got plans for music. Me and Nick are working on uh, the Exploring Exchange album. Me and Knife are working on more stuff. So, I mean, there's always going to be music coming, but right now, I'm just focused on me. I mean, I, I really like mu movies. I'm a big movie fan. Like, I'm always, like, Netflix. <laughs> Leg up. Uh, so, um, movies, man, just um, chilling. Yeah, I mean, we get love out here. I mean, That was, that's Fonte, <laughs> and he gave me a hug, <laughs> and that is 90 Wanda, okay, and I gave him a bracelet, a bracelet to give to his wife, and he said he will, and um, I got his towel right there, here it is, here it is, here it is, shit, I got it. <laughs> I, mean, I just feel very honored and very blessed and humbled even to just think that you never think as an MC you never think that your words will take you this far. Yo, yo, I'm gonna try my best to sign as much shit as I can, so don't throw. I got y'all. Yes. But I'll make sure I spend as much time with y'all as possible. Okay? So I got y'all. Just to know that just, I'm, you know, 20,000 miles away from home, simply on the strength of some rhymes I wrote, you know, like, it's really amazing. So I'm, I'm very thankful.